Rose finds a shirt on sale for $9.90. This price reflects a discount of 70%. A, what was the original price? And B, what is the amount of the discount? We will solve this problem using a bar diagram or tape diagram, which is shown here below, where this tape or bar represents 100% of the original price. Going back to the given information, the sale price of $9.90 is the price after the discount of 70%, and because 100% minus 70% is 30%, $9.90 is 30% of the original price. And this is key to solving this problem correctly. Let's go ahead and write this out. Again, $9.90 is 30% of the original price. Next, because 30% is a multiple of 10%, or because 30 is a multiple of 10, we will now cut the bar or tape into 10 equally sized parts or pieces, which will allow us to label the bar or tape from 0% to 100% in increments of 10%. So here's the bar or tape cut into 10 equally sized parts or pieces, and then above the tape or bar, we have 0% to 100%, increasing by 10% each time. And now we'll write the corresponding dollar amounts below the tape or below the bar. And because we know $9.90 is 30% of the original price, we can record $9.90 below 30%. From here, because 30% divided by 3 is 10%, if we divide $9.90 by 3, we can determine 10% of the original price. So we'll go ahead and divide $9.90 by 3, or 9.9 .9 by 3. Move the decimal up into the quotient. There are three threes in nine. Three times three is nine. The difference is zero. Bring down the nine. Again, there are three threes in nine. Three times three is nine. The difference is zero. Because 9.9 .9 divided by three is 3.3, .3, we now know 10% of the original price is three dollars and thirty cents. Which means each time the percent increases by ten percent, we add three dollars and thirty cents. Three dollars and thirty cents plus three dollars and thirty cents is six dollars and sixty cents, which gives us twenty percent of the original price. If we add three dollars and thirty cents again, we do get nine dollars and ninety cents, which we already know is thirty percent of the original price. To complete the tape diagram or bar diagram, we now just add $3.30 each time the percent increases by 10%. Here's the completed tape diagram or bar diagram. Notice that 100% corresponds to $33, which was the original price. We can also notice that 10% of the original price is $3.30. If we multiply $3.30 by 10, this does give us $33, which is 100% of the original price. Part B, what is the amount of the discount? Again, the price of $9.90 reflects a discount of 70%. So going back to the tape diagram, notice 70% of the original price is $23.10, which is the amount of the discount which gives the sale price of $9.90. So the amount of the discount is $23.10. I hope you found this helpful.